If your dishwasher stops working altogether, first check your fuse box or breaker box to make sure the power to your dishwasher is on. If the power is on and the dishwasher still doesn't work, the problem could be a bad thermal fuse. Before you start taking things apart on your dishwasher and unscrewing the door, make sure the power is shut off at your fuse box or breaker box. Then remove the screws inside of the dishwasher door that hold the control panel in place. Tilt the control panel down. You may have to use a chair and some books to support it. Using a flat bladed screwdriver or your fingers, release the plastic tabs to remove the control board cover. Large arrows etched in the plastic point to the tabs. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to pry up the plastic tab to release the old thermal fuse. The tab lifts from the center, so this can be a little tricky. You can check the fuse with an ohmmeter. When the ohmmeter reads zero, there's a complete circuit. Expose the leads on the fuse to test it. If the fuse is good, the ohmmeter should read zero when you test the leads. In this case, since it doesn't read zero, the thermal fuse needs replacing. Cut the wires attached to the old thermal fuse close to the connectors so you'll have plenty of wire to use when you install the replacement fuse. You can simply remove the old thermal fuse assembly. The two thermal fuse wires are attached to a large bundle of wires at two points. Here and here. Unwrap the electrical tape on the bundle closest to the ends of the thermal fuse wires. Separate the two thermal fuse wires from the bundle. Now rewrap the bundle minus the thermal fuse wires with the electrical tape. Use your wire stripper to strip about a quarter inch of insulation from the ends of the two wires. Twist the bare ends of the wires. The new thermal fuse assembly will have a wire with a white stripe and a solid black wire. Be sure they match the connecting wires when you insert them into the white plastic block that's called the thermal block of the new thermal fuse assembly. After inserting each wire, use a small flat bladed screwdriver to tighten the screws and to hold the wires in place. Remove the plastic fuse clip from the old fuse. Snap the old clip onto the new fuse. Then snap the assembly back into place on the control panel housing. Use zip ties to keep the wire harness firmly in place. You don't want the wires to come loose after you close the control panel and put everything back together. Snap the control panel cover back in place. Make sure the plastic tabs line up with their respective slots. If the cover abstains, check to make sure any wiring is not obstructing the cover. You don't want to damage any wiring while replacing the cover.
tilt the control panel back into place, then screw it back onto the dish wall. Once everything is back together, turn on the power and run a short wash cycle with no dishes to test your work.